Hey guys, welcome to Tech Trips Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to design a landing page with Figma. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Now, just for a quick overview, if you're not familiar with Figma, this is actually a versatile and user-friendly design and prototyping tool widely used in the fields of web and app designing. So it is actually known for its collaborative capabilities and ease of use. So as you can see, you could co-create in one space, work together in real time and empower designers to create in new ways. With Figma, designers can create and share interactive prototypes, design interfaces, collaborate with team members in real time. So you could also bring your design and dev closer. So Figma already have a dev mode where in a new space in Figma for developers. So this bring clarity to designs and give developers the tools they need to translate them into code. So you could explore developer mode for that. But onto this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and talk onto creation of a landing page. So if you're not familiar with a landing page, this is the digital design or mock-up that represents a single web page or a specific section of a website. So this is actually a visual representation of what a website's visitor will see when they first arrive at the particular page. So landing page are actually crucial. They need elements in web design and digital marketing as they are often designed with specific goal in mind such as capturing leads, promoting a product, service, or providing essential information. So to start creating that, you need to start creating in Figma and for you to be able to get started for free and to get redirected onto this page, you'll just need to visit the description link below to get the link for Figma. Then right after you click onto that, you should get redirected onto this page and click onto the get started for free so that you could go ahead and create an account. So creating an account in Figma is actually easy. You actually have different options for that. So you have the option to continue using your Google account or you could type in your email, password, and you also have the option to agree to join Figma's mailing list. And then right after, just simply click on to create account. But by clicking create an account or continue with Google, you should know that you need to agree to the Figma TOS and privacy policy. Now you can also use a single sign on and if you have an account already, just simply click onto the login button. Now, this is actually what Figma's dashboard looks like. So here onto the left side, you should be able to see your account settings, your notification, and a search bar to search for files, teams, or people. So you have the recents open in here. These are the recently viewed or my recent creations with Figma. And you could also browse your teams in here and your graphs. So actually, you could also view the different plans in here if you want to upgrade. So you could choose a plan that is right for you. You could have it at monthly billing or yearly and as you can see we have three options so we're currently using the first one in here which is starter which is free for trying things out we also have the professional which is the most popular one this is for you and your team with unlimited files and all the pro features so this starts at 12 dollars for figma design and three dollars for figma now onto the organization for bringing teams together sharing an organization wide design system and many more at 45 dollars for figma design and five dollars for fig jump so you could just simply click onto the upgrade button in here so that you could go ahead and upgrade your plan and also if you would like to view more features just click onto the see all features in here to view the different comparison onto the different plans let's head back onto the dashboard now after the view plans you should see in here the favorite file so you could hover onto any file and click the star to add in it here like this one so if you click onto this it would be redirected here onto the favorite files you could also see your teams in here and also you could create a new team and the explore community so this is actually where you'll have the option to view the figma community and explore thousands of free and paid templates plugins and ui kits to kickstart your next big idea so you have a search bar for that and the different categories as well now if you scroll down in here you could discover what's new and right after after scrolling for a little bit you should be able to see the community already in here now here onto the community you could actually browse with using the different filters in here you have you could choose for all products figma figma dev mode or just figjam and you could also see in here the all resources you could just choose files plugins widgets you could also choose to use the paid one or only the free one and you could also use the all creators in here following and figma partners only so that is how the community works now let's head back onto the dashboard now as you can see here onto my recent view i actually have a virtual headset landing page in here so we could go ahead and click onto this so that we could view in here what is actually a landing page or how it should look like 
now we could also open a new tab in here to create a new file so that we could go ahead and follow in also how it should look like so we're gonna go ahead and choose the team that we're gonna put our design into so we could just add it to drafts so then we should be able to see the screen in here now as you can see we have gone ahead and already opened the template that we're going to use as a reference. So this is actually the landing page of a virtual headset in here. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to head onto the blank canvas that we have in here. And we'll need to create a frame first so that we could get started onto copying ideas. Or you could just simply start from scratch if you would like. But we're just going to use this as a reference for this tutorial, the template that we've chosen. So we could just go ahead and use the shortcut you click onto the app to open the frame. Or you could also just click onto the button in here so that this one should pop up here onto the right side. So you should choose in here onto what type of device we're going to do. So we'll try desktop in here since we're going to try to create a website. So for the first page of our landing page, so we need to have this kinds of things or the control bar. So we could actually see the different things that they have in here. Now the first thing that we could actually add it here is a background. So we here just simply click onto the frame and here onto the bottom part onto the fill. You could go ahead and select this tool in here so that I could change the color. Then right after if you want to copy something out of a template, you're just going to go ahead and right click onto it. And then right after you'll just need to copy that and paste it onto your design. So as you can see we've gone ahead and already copied that one out. And if we want to copy something as well like this one, we could just do the same process of copying it and then pasting it in here so you could actually readjust this one on where you would like to put this so we could add this one into the middle you could also change the color for this so that you could add your own style in here so if you want to add this visit shop let's copy that click on to paste in here and then we could have this here on to the upper part now if you want to add some photos as well you'll just need to add here onto the file and then right after you'll have an option in here to place an image so here onto the upper part if you want to add some things as well or some elements you could just simply click onto this shape tool in here you'll have the option to add in a rectangle line arrow ellipse polygon star and you could also place an image or video using this one so we could go ahead and add in a line in here just for a style so we could add it here onto the left side so we could have it like that and you could just customize this when as per your liking so you could actually add in some ellipse as well here so you could add it like that you could add in more text and also you could see the more resources in here and you could utilize this hand tool so that you could go ahead and create your own landing page just like this one so let's just go over through this templates in here so that we could see what are the important things that we should see onto a landing page. So as you can see, we have here the navigation bar, a quick overview onto the different product that we would like to sell, the visit store so that they could go ahead and get redirected onto the right web page once they click onto that, some explore options as well. You could also add in your social so that it would be easier for them to locate what is your social and also most importantly, it is really important to have have more like a photo or a representation of what your product would look like so this would appeal your customers you could also add in some search bar or anything like that a landing page should just not be limited to one page only so you could have this one as scrollable so you could also add in some features of the product that you want to have you could also add in some reviews or also some blogs in here that could support the idea of your virtual headsets you could also add in the top games or the top things that are actually connected with your product and also this is actually a really important one the fact which are the most asked questions that a user could have onto your product so that they'll have an overview on how it would work and lastly you should have this footer in here that it still has your social a quick name of your company the menu the catalogs and many more and about your company and also the subscription so that they go ahead and avail to this one so those are actually more like the important things that you should see onto a landing page so you could just utilize the different tools that figma offers so actually designing in figma is just all about creating digital designs with ease so you could just go ahead and start in with adding a frame so this will act as a space where you build your design just like what we did earlier and they're also provide the different tools that we've gone ahead earlier so that you could easily manipulate shapes and images so to keep things consistent you could create reusable design elements known as components so they are handy for making things like buttons icons or navigation bar that looks the same throughout your project you could also browse through that onto the explore community that we've done earlier or the different templates that other users offers as well and that's it on to creating a landing page in figma and if you think this tutorial was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like 
subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on to our next video